Hello everyone, this is Bebo Ice here. Uh, I'm playing on Modern Warfare 2 Search and Destroy and I'm here to show you how one player can dominate against one team. Um, what me and my friends try to do is play the game objectively. Uh, I would be the person who would stay back and relax and kill people from rooftops. Uh, my friend would rush, another would uh, snipe and use right shield and thus this did not work uh, my friend got mad at me because I stole his kill uh, and while well, he was rushing and I really didn't because he died before I killed the enemy but this does not work as I said our objective uh, that is because I was the only one who actually did good on our team uh, I'm saying that they're bad players were good players it's just that uh, Strategically, I was positioned the right place the whole game. Uh, I went, I killed the enemy 18 times and I died twice. And this proves that in Man Over 2, sometimes you don't need to play objectively. If you have one good player, one player can take on the whole team. Uh, this is different than, for instance, the feedback company. Uh, we need and the whole team to win the game uh, doesn't take one skillful player to win the game. Uh, I'm not consider myself skillful. It's just that I believe this game is all about knowing where to be and uh, being patient. I mean, you don't always need to rush, and sometimes that works. You don't always camp because sometimes you need to rush. Depends on where the enemy is positioned and how they are playing depends on how will you play uh, I keep taking the same route and crash because I know there's a lot of people stay back most of the time or they rush to A so I try to go to B most of the time that's because I'm not like I take areas especially on search and destroy because if it's two against one the odds are you are going to die in search and destroy and you only have one life every round so it is better for you to down one place now I already have my headers and then I'm winning kill time already twice and I, you can already see I'm the only one who's actually killing the enemy except two of my friends who got killed each uh yeah so I like to use Harrier in Fish and Destroy but to be honest there isn't uh, you don't really need it because it's not gonna get a lot of kills uh, since it's only switching this draw, there's only six enemies most of the time, or even less depending on the lobby. And so, Harrier isn't the best option, but I still like to use it because I do not know what else to pick. Uh, I know that the UAV and the Predator is always the right choice. Uh, I like using them, and I heard this guy drop, but I don't know where he was. And he got me with AK-47, probably the best gun in my opinion. But as you see, I'm using the Tar Silence. Uh, it's a very, very good gun. Uh, especially, it has low recoil, and the silencer helps it a lot. So you do not know where they are. But I'm using the Tar because, one, it looks cool, and it's a very good gun. And as I said before, it has low recoil, and the silencer does help on it. Most of the time I would use the AK-47, but I would choose to use the target in this point. Uh. By now you can see that as we were trying to play an objective game with everyone having a role and part in the game we are playing right now, it does not work. Uh, you, you already see that I have 9 or 10 kills right now, and while my friends have 3 maximum, uh, this once again proves that Modern Warfare 2 is not always an objective game. Uh, you can. Oh, I do fail right here. <laughs> um, as I was saying, Modern Warfare 2 can sometimes be a one person, just depending on the skill level of other people and how you use it. Uh, like, for instance, right here, I was listening to my Turtle Beaches and I heard where this guy was coming. I'm the only person on my team who has it, who is using Turtle Beaches and. This would help me a lot. Uh, my uh, my friend who was rushing, he kept getting noob tubed, and 
or random grenade killed uh, my friend who was using the right shield he just kept dying and dying because he's not that very skillful and then the snipers um, a sniper uh, on search and destroy is a either a win or a lose it's a 50-50 chance uh, every time because in the beginning everybody snipe uh, spawn trap everyone and depending how fast you get there or how how good your patient and and um, your aiming is depend depends how many kills you get like here I had no patient uh, and I totally missed I could have got two and one or at least one person but I did get uh, but you can see here uh, I'm playing as I said before the calmer game the laid back at not a rush I wait in the back and wait for every one to come out who is camping and sometimes that works but as you can see it did not work this time I normally not play the laid back uh, style I tend to check my corners um, stay in one area of the map and then move on like I I'm not camp like in one corner and wait for people to come when I say I watch one area and watch corners I mean uh, take the map by area by area um, in search and destroy I like to for instance stay on one part for about 10 seconds ch check if anyone's around run to another spot see if anyone's there and so on and so on and so on uh, that is what I do I'm not telling you how you should play uh, I'm telling you you should play the way that works best for you uh, that, w that works best for me uh, I see yeah, that a lot of people like to run rush of VMP that works with them uh, I see other people who stay back uh, use a noob tube and shoot across the map that works for them other people run around scoping um, depends on you how your personality is and how you play uh, like this guy I just killed um, he was a rusher with a UMP as I mentioned before uh, this did not work for him obviously but I'm really sure it worked uh, other times for him and isn't that a lucky kill haha <laughs> I did not get those a lot especially if I'm using a silencer cause uh, the range is reduced but I think I kinda got lucky right there getting the guy and I know that the snipers were there previously that is why I'm looking up there again maybe this time I get him and I do not see him again uh, there is one guy left I like to throw stun grenades a lot um, if I'm not one on one and I know there's someone there it's a it's better than used to use grenades and flash grenades because you can throw them quick here and I get the round killing round winning kill again uh, I think I got them all all rounds that we want but anyways uh, you can see I I carried the whole team uh, you can see that in search and destroy you can have one player who wins the game for everyone else and 18 kills and 2 deaths is the way I ended uh, thank you for watching my commentary have a wonderful day